What is going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome to my Unreal Engine Beginner's Guide, a series of short videos where we cover almost every single blueprint node and function that you need. The link to this series playlist can be found in the description so that you can check out all of these quick guides in the intended order. If you'd like to support the series and the channel, do not hesitate to hit the like button and smash the subscribe button as well as turn on the notification bell in order to know right when I upload a video. And with that out of the way, let us get started. In this part, we are going to be taking a look at the event begin play nodes and at blueprint nodes in general. Basically, this is our introduction to the event graph. So yeah, let's just get started by checking out our first line of code, which is the event begin play. So the event begin play is a blueprint node that you can use to just run a set of code that happens right when your game starts, like not when your game actually starts. Let me just give you some context. So previously we created a random blueprint actor and let's actually delete it and create a brand new one. So we're gonna create a blueprint class actor and we're gonna open it and go to the event graph. So this is our event begin play. This node is actually what happens when the actor spawns or when it first starts existing in the game's world. So for some stuff, it's not really like when the game starts, it's when the actor spawns. This is what the event begin play is. And I'm, I wanna show you some tricks and how to use it. So first of all, we have an empty blueprint actor maybe we should just add a box or a cube so add component cube and we we do have like a white material that's fine so we're going to compile and we're going to put it in our game and we're going to put it right in front of the player start as you can see it's right in front of us so now that it's in our game. We want to go to the event graph and in the event begin play, what we want to do is we actually want to use it to change the material. For example, we can just drag in the cube component, set material. And you can just go material and look for a second, like some alternative. We can go with this M crumble. And now if you compile and go back to your game, press play. And you will notice that right when the game starts, it actually sets the material. So you can try it again. And it's very instant to the degree that you cannot actually see it. And that is why we are gonna be adding the delay node. So the delay node is a node that you can use and once like the code actually runs it will like make a timer so for example our delay here is going to be three seconds so it will wait three seconds and then it will set the material so you compile and hit play and we wait three seconds and you can see that the material is set. And if you want to see the blueprint actually happen, you can see the delay happens and then it sets the material and the event begin play actually happens only once. So only when the actor spawns, there is no other way to, to just trigger it again, unless the actor respawns. So yeah, there's that to keep in mind. Anyway, another way we can actually use it is we can make code that is forever running. So it's not really the same as using the event tick. We're, we're gonna get into the event tick later. But for example, you can go here and once you set the material, you can go back and connect it to the delay from the end of the set material. And let's just say that every single time you want it to set a different material. So we're going to add another node that is quite useful, but I'm not going to explain it too properly right now. It's a flip flop node. So just type flip flop and you should find it and connect it to the delay. Now let's just say 
that this is our event begin play. It plays the game. The delay happens. And then if it's A, then it does the first one. And if it's B, it does the second one. So we're going to select this set material over here and we're going to paste it using control C and control V. And we're going to connect it to B. And for the B option, we're going to change the material that we need. So instead of Chrome ball, we're going to go and choose a different one. We just have to find one that's more different. So this one's nice bone weight material. You can just go and select it. And again, you want to connect the other one back to the delay. And now every single three seconds, it's actually going to switch the material. So let's just move this aside and give it a try. So now it plays the first one and then the second one, and then it waits three seconds and plays the third one. I mean the first one. And you can see that it's now forever cycling between those two. And that is because we're not really letting the code stop. If you didn't connect it at the end, it would have stopped. So let me sh show you the blueprint actually running. So we're going to do this. We just want to scale it properly. Then we're going to hit play. And there you go. You can actually see it running. So it begins playing, goes to the delay and then chooses between those two. And after it sets the material, it goes back to the delay and redoes it. And now it is actually stuck in a cycle forever. However, I do think that, you know, this, this is much better than using the event tick. The event tick is similar to the event begin play, but it's actually always, always happening. It just never stops. But going back and using the event begin play and having them connected this way will save you lots of performance. It's much, much better than using the event tick. So yeah, it just saves a lot of energy from your computer and you know now you know the basics of the event begin play it plays right when your game starts and it just stops unless you have it connected back in a cycle that goes on forever so anyway guys this is the event begin play in a nutshell and a few tricks on how to use it if you guys have enjoyed this part do not forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Take care, have a great day, and bye.